Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, in my last video, uh, last couple of videos, I was messing with a couple of Yamahas, a 40 horsepower and a 25 three cylinder. And uh, both had uh, suspect of being submerged. Um, the 40 horse looked a lot better uh, than the 25 three cylinder. So I cleaned them both up, pulled the heads and so forth, and uh, the carbs on the 40 uh, showed no indications of being submerged. They were clean as a whistle. Um, but things don't always turn out the way you think they're going to. So uh, the cylinders and all on that 40 look good. Carburetors nice and clean inside. Um, but after I cleaned everything up, put everything back together, that 40 will run for about 5-10 seconds and then just lock up. And uh, what I believe that to be is the crank bearings are all black and rusty and and uh, so, and would it be worth rebuilding? Not to me because most often when I get them up part like that and they've been submerged and set for a while and that's probably what happened to this 40. I don't think it was submerged probably but it, it, it at least ingested uh, seawater into it um, and of course this is all just guessing but uh, because of the way it'll start running and then just seize up um, then I have to take the pool start the recoil start off and actually work the pistons back and forth with a uh, a breaker bar and get them loose again then I can start it again it'll do the same thing and uh, so I'm guessing the crank bearings are all rusty and yucky and and uh, then if you want to rebuild the thing chances are the cranks gonna be shot pitted and scraped and everything so it's just not not worth the effort to me so uh, I have a couple other 40s, so I'll either put a different power head on it because the rest of it's in real nice shape. So I'll, I'll probably go that route and just put a different power head on there. Um, now, the, the 25. Um, according to the person I bought it from, who was the owner, um, it definitely was submerged. Not running, but um, the boat was anchored out, storm came in, and the boat partially sunk and the engine was at least partially submerged. Well, when I took the uh, carbs apart on it, it uh, they were really full of salt water, really salty inside, and I thought, well, this thing probably won't run. I pulled the head on it, the cylinders didn't look bad, but it was seized. Um, luckily, the center piston was seized at the very top. So I just worked it loose. I rehoned the cylinders, put everything back together, cleaned up the carburetors as best I could, and uh, I literally had to take easy outs, uh, screw extractors, to get the needles out of the seats. There was uh, a couple of clogged carb uh, passages in that thing that literally took me an hour and a half of working with to get the salt out of them to finally get fluid to flow through them. But lo and behold, the thing runs. Now, would I sell it to somebody? No. I, this is not any, I just wouldn't, knowing the history of the motor. Uh, I, I might sell it to somebody who needs parts or something like that. But I'll give you a shot of it running here. Um, I took the propeller off. It's all bent up and leafed over and everything. Um, and uh, I'll show you the, the needles here. Um, but what this engine needs now is to mix them about 24 to 1, and then I need to take it out and run it literally wide open uh, throttle uh, and get a, a good tanker or two of gas through it and see what it's going to do. Um, to me, I hear a little bearing chatter or something going on on it, but uh, overall not bad. I'm not real familiar with these two-stroke three-cylinder 25s. Um, but I cleaned her up as best I could, cleaned the 40 up as best I could, and uh, let me show you a couple things. Um, here's those needles, or what's left of them, that came out of the, the 25. 
Um, you can see <laughs> they were really stuck in there and in really bad shape. So, um, and there's the old 40. And she didn't make it. But everything else on it is nice. And here's the 25. And according to my camera, the batteries are dying. So let me get a charge on the camera and I'll be right back to fire this up. I'll be right back. So there's the little 25 three cylinder. That bonnet needs a little twerking. I can see it ain't sitting on there right with a cowling or something. But anyway, um, after I cleaned it up, she does run. The 40, I think my best route to go on this guy is to. Uh, Switch out the power head. Everything else on the, the unit's really nice. Um, it's either that or part it out. Um, really hate to do that because all the aluminum's intact and uh, and so I do have other Yamaha 40s. So I can use the parts vis-a-vis. -vis. I can use them going that way or those going over to that one. So I just got to think about it a little bit. Now the 25, um, the best thing that I could do for it right now would be to take it out uh, 24 to 1 or so. Um, mix up some really rich fuel and take it out and run it really good and hard wide open throttle run a tank or two through it and see how she's going to run out um, like i said i'm not that familiar with the 25 three cylinder but let's give her a start I'm running her a little rich, um, but you got to remember I honed those cylinders. can really say about it is it runs <laughs> how well it runs um, that I can't say it, it uh, I'm trying to get the camera set up here nope. but anyway the thing will run um, 
not having good luck with my camera today. Try and find somewhere I can set it. There we go. So she she does run. It actually starts pretty easy. Um, and you got to remember, I honed those cylinders. Uh, the the center cylinder did have a little bit of scoring on the very top of it where it, it, it seized at. Um, and to me, my next step would be to, um, I've got it on a tank of like 30 to 1 right now, um, but uh, the, the next step would be to put it on the back of a boat and go out and run it good wide open with a load on it. Um, of course, I'd have to look through my propellers and come up with a propeller, at least straighten and take this one it's got just about every year on it, it's dinged up but I could probably tune that one up and, and uh, make it look a little better and work a little better but it, it just needs to be taken out at this point I mean I've done all I'm gonna do I'm not spending another uh, penny on it um, those little bitty needle valves right there were 13 and change a piece um, so I wouldn't, this is not an engine I would sell anybody. Um, and the other issue I have is um, I don't have a short uh, transom skiff to be able to take it out and run it wide open. I do have some friends that have them and I'll probably ask one of them if they'll take it out and just right off the harbor there and, and uh, give it a run a tank through it and see how it does. And uh, so anyway, that's where the two Yamaha's ended up. The 40 uh, has a lot of issues on the bearings and crank, uh, at least that's my belief on it, and the 25 um, had definitely been at least partially submerged, um, but it did come back and at least run. It, it tends to idle pretty good. It's a little noisy. Uh, the carburetors uh, looked really bad inside but I, I managed to clean them up they seem to be working all right and uh, and now I just a matter of running the heck out of it doing a few little uh, uh, made you know minor things like the the bonnet the gasket on the bonnet um, the bonnet seems to be tweaked or something but in my neck of the woods um, The abuse I see <laughs> see people do on some of these outboards is just stunning. Um, with just the uh, uh, slightest bit of care, um, it would go such a long way. I've got a boat I'm going to pull in here, and I'm sure I'll make a vid on it. It's a Yamaha. I think it's a it's either a 35 or a 40. Um, had VRO on it. And the fella told me he ran it until it ran out of oil. Then he also said when he launched it, he forgot to take the earmuffs off. So it was overheated and run out of oil. And then he said it ran, but ran really rough. So I'll make a video on that one here soon. Thanks for watching.